Welcome to Cha Cha's Queendom. Today, let's talk about bamboo shoots because it's one of my favorite food. But it's so hard to find good ones in the U.S. In Taiwan, we have many different kinds of bamboo shoots, and they are really good when they're in season. And it's hard to import it into the U.S. So in the U.S., I don't get to eat good bamboo shoot until I found these kind of bamboo shoots, and they are one of the premium bamboo shoots even in Taiwan. Okay, they're thick. With the meat part, very meaty, but it's very tender. And they only harvest during summertime, May, June, and July. And they have to hand pick one by one, okay? And once they harvest them, they quickly sterilize them and then just vacuum seal them in the liquid that they're cooked in. So there's no preservatives, no chemical. When you open the bag, you'll smell the fresh fragrance of the bamboo shoot. It's amazing. And you know who's the expert choosing the best bamboo shoot? That's right, Panda, and these are one of their favorite. So you know this has got to be good, right? There are many ways to cook it. You can braise it, you can put it in the soup, or you can sauté it with meat. But I want to show you my way of cooking it because it's super fast and easy, and it's super delicious. And you know what? With this super delicious bamboo shoot, you can just blanch it and put it into your ramen instant noodle. It's so good. Now. Let's get started. The bamboo shoot comes in this kind of vacuum sealed bag, so it's sterilized and there's no chemical, no preservatives, and you can store in room temperature, no fridge or freezer needed, just room temperature for 18 months. It's amazing. Now let me show you how I prepare it, and then you just open it up. Oops! And then you'll see the bamboo shoot inside, and then you'll see the liquid that it's cooked in. And then all you need to do is take out the bamboo shoot. You don't need the water. And then we're just gonna rinse it a little bit. After a quick rinse. We're just gonna tear it open, and then you will see these um, soft disc inside there. We're just gonna uh, remove it because it's more fibery, and then you will see the outside of the bamboo shoots. There are these um, outer layer. You also want to remove it, and then we're gonna rinse it again inside and out, and then we're just gonna tear it apart to the thickness that you like. After you're done, you're just gonna cut it into the length that you like. And then we need some green onions. We're gonna separate the green parts and the white parts, and then we're gonna cut it diagonal like this. It's just the length of the bamboo shoot, just to make it look pretty. And then we're gonna chop up some chili pepper as well. And then we're gonna need some garlic. You don't need to finely chop them. You just need to chop it up roughly. There are a few tips to make bamboo shoots delicious. Most of the time, you'll need good fat and meaty flavor. But sometimes we don't have meat on hand, or we don't have time to prepare meat, and I just want a quick saute dish. So here's my trick: I use this amazing garlic-infused goose fat, so it gives the good fat and the meaty flavor instantly. Okay, and also some good quality soy sauce is very important as well. Now everything is ready. Let's do it. Turn up the heat, and you want to be really generous with. Oil, okay, because bamboo shoot need that oil to make it taste good to complement it. And then we're gonna put in the garlic, the white part of the green onions, and then the chili peppers. If you want this dish to be more spicy, then you can put in all the chili peppers at the beginning. I'm gonna put in half of the chili pepper first, and then leave the rest of it till the end of it. And then we put in the bamboo shoot. Give it a good stir. You want to make sure that yummy infused oil is well coated on all the bamboo shoot, and then we're gonna put in some soy sauce and salt and some water. Of course, before we seal the deal, you want to taste it, okay? And for people who like to add a little extra flavor, you can use the better than bouillon, either the vegetable ones or the roasted chicken ones. But that's not a must. It's just optional. Once you're happy with the flavor, you want to cover the lid, 
turn the heat to low and then let it simmer for about 10 minutes. But of course, about five minutes into it, I will open it up and give it a little stir just to make sure they're cooked evenly. All right, it's been 10 minutes, so I'm just gonna put in the green part of the green onions and the rest of the chili pepper and give it a good stir and we're ready. Look at this beautiful bamboo shoot. It is so delicious and simple to make. Shall we? Mm. I don't know if you can hear it. <coughs> the spicy chili pepper. If you can hear it, the crunchy, it's meaty, and it's full of bamboo shoot flavor. It's so intense. And that goose fat did the perfect job to flavor this bamboo shoot. It is so good. I hope you give this a try because it's super easy, super delicious, premium bamboo shoot. I tell you, if you try this, there's no way you'll be happy with the canned bamboo shoot. Or even when you go to the ramen store, those bamboo shoot wouldn't be good enough for you anymore. All right, thank you for watching. If you like this recipe or this video, please remember to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.